What's cooking folks, Vermillion Phoenix here, and today we're jumping into some more Orcs Must Die Unchained. This time we are going to be visiting Avalanche with Midnight. Now I originally attempted to record this and uh, fortunately got one of those now famous audio pops from the launcher, basically rendering the entire recording useless. So we're going to do it again, and hopefully this time with audio that doesn't buzz in your ear throughout the entire video. Either way, uh, we are going to be doing a very similar build to what I usually do here, but uh, I'm going to be trying to test out a few more things. Namely, since we don't really need the spikes, we're going to toss in the tripwire. Now, the tripwire uh, really is sort of a trap that serves the same purpose as uh, character activated skills like Cygnus's Pylon Patriarch or Gabriella's kinetic pulse. So it really can't be used to great effect without you actually being close to your kill box. But when used and if you use triggers that set up certain conditions on it, you can get a lot of chaos happening. By the way, I am going to grab making it rain. We're not using any lightning traps today. We're using fire and physical, so those are the traits that we're taking, and bear hugs. Now, this map is somewhat large. We'll be traveling a lot. We're gonna forgo the lightning ring for a mage's clover. All right, let's do this. Another day, another bounty. All right, so we're in now. On Rifloid, you start off dealing with this gate down here. I'm gonna just go ahead and drop the jailer there while we have the opportunity. And if built right, uh, at least for the survival part of this map, not much of anything really gets through here. Carefully set. This will be their end. It's gonna be an execution, right? Useful. So, you can do something like this. Lord and here. Though, these over here aren't really needed right now. But that's what you'll want to block so you can force enemies to go and fight your guardian once the time arrives. Now, Let them come. you can do this. Sweet. And that to sort of give yourself a uh, bit of area to work with early if I were there, I'd tread and once all of this is done uh, most of the enemies here should basically be dead before they even get around the corner here but inside here we're going to place a couple of ballistas and that will pretty much be the end of just about everything that's here Come on, go off. Yeah, there we go. So you, when you're using Floor Scorchers with Midnight, uh, it's a good idea to try to get your dashes in right after the Scorcher triggers. Like that. That way you can maximize your combo points and it should net you a ton of damage. All right, and then I can test their blood. Gonna do that. So this is pretty much everything that you'll really need here. Uh, if you want to make this just a little bit easier, you can place four ballista right above your barricades here, and that'll pretty much be the entire kill box down here. Now it's pretty much overkill with the uh, arrow walls that are back there. They're not really needed, but they will help kill things a little bit sooner. Okay. 
And now we want to go to the other side and start building things up there so that we really won't be rushing when the time comes. If I were them, I'd tread lightly. This will be their end. All more right. Skill, more kill. So get me to and fro a bit quicker. That's on pause for now. Yeah. So with the speed boost, it looks like you have to deactivate your prowl and prowl again for it to actually give you the bonuses. That looked a little nuts. Everything just sort of exploded. All right, the other side's open now. Let's go ahead and head over there. Our enemies are breaking through elsewhere. No, I didn't even set up the guardian. That is my fault. Guardian there shouldn't be too necessary. Killing this chaos kobold very much is though. All right, that's a space. Alright, we're going to do a whole lot of slows. It's going to pretty much allow... That uh, Floor Scorcher there to get quite a bit of damage accumulated on all of the enemies. Alright, come on. There we go. Okay, I think there's a few more things that we can do on the other side, just to shore it up a bit. It is possible that some explosive guys can get through here. It's possible, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. So, set that up. And then we're just gonna let them sort of uh, get murdered. Trying to get up these stairs. While we put a ton of ballistas. In this area. So, the slow that you have there is pretty much going to guarantee that everything gets murdered by those ballistas when it comes around the corner there the arrow walls are just icing on the cake pretty tasty cake all right so let's start preparing for the next gate which we will be getting shortly all right what we're going to do here is make sure that the edge is near this pillar for this great wall barricade if you place two that's where you want the first one and then just place the other one over here and you should be fine. Now coming through this area, this will be I'm going to do a three wide kill box with slows and arrow walls and tar and eventually a ton of ballistas, way too many ballistas. Just because uh, the slowed enemies on fire with the ballistas will generate Pretty solid combo points, and the ballista pretty much guarantees a quick death for everything that gets shot. For the boss, when it comes through, it will deal quite a bit of damage stacked on top of each other, so that will also be good. And because you have multiple high damage traps in an area, it becomes prime area, prime real estate for our tripwires. Enemies are attacking on another front. Okay. An unstable rift is opening. Quick, destroy it. And 
So that's one of the interesting things about uh, unstable rifts at the moment. Building a better mouse. Unstable rifts don't actually, or I'm sorry, not unstable rifts, ballista. Ballista don't seem to be able to target units that are in their area of effect when they're placed. They have to walk into the area, and that means that uh, placing ballista rapidly during the middle of a wave or while enemies are surrounding you is not a good idea. So try not to do it that way. I have no idea what those were trying to trigger on or shoot, but, uh, good effort. Alright, we're gonna get over to the other side here and see if we can take these guys out and save us some time. Got the poison in, slashed them all. Alright, probably a good idea to try to go regenerate a bit of mana while we can so I'm not really worried about anything coming from the top gate now they are pretty much guaranteed to die we're going to do something similar with these guys okay so them All right, that should be a good start. We can put two more slows here, and uh, the enemies are going to try to come across there and be to see this before they turn around. So that should help out a bit too. That is what a bouncer bear. Now we're gonna go poison them. Mm -hmm. Poison, stun. Ooh. And there we go. So I don't know if it's just me, but uh, sometimes mercs and heavy enemies seem to randomly shrug off stuns. And I say random just because uh, I can't find a rhyme or reason to why it happens at the moment. All right, they're all dead, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I guess I could uh, Let them come. do that. Here. Let's see what happens outside of the kitchen here. Yeah, they're all dead. And now we got to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, those guys are getting flipped and wasting time. Our enemies, they're breaking through again. All right, so now that we have this area opening up, again, if you want things handled quickly. It's a good idea to get as many ballistas in here as you can. Uh, that is the most unsafe, unstable rift location. Uh, for most of the other locations, there's a place where you can put a ballista that will sort of take out the unstable rift for you, if not guaranteedly do it. The nicest unstable rift location is right here because the ballistas that you place there take care of it rather easily. And you'll be great. One with the shadows. I'm just gonna hop in here and heal for a moment. Or regen my mana, I should say. Well, I didn't think I'd be fast enough to land on that. Alright, everybody's dead. Nope, still some other guys coming. Okay, time for you guys to shine. That's not ready. Building a better mouse. Oh. 
All right, we should be pretty much okay here now. If I were there, I'd tread lightly, carefully set. Ooh, wow. All right, that is all the ballistas that I can put there. One last place to place a few things, and that is going to be another set of floor scorchers here and some arrows in the back. So we should be pretty good. Mostly everything on this map will solo itself right now. And again, these arrow walls here are pretty much just for show. The only thing that would really matter uh, if I put it here would be like maybe a Spitfire arrow wall. It'll probably be right here. And maybe another one right here. Whoa, okay, I'm going to stay away from those guys because it's possible that they can blow up exactly what they just blew up. It's impossible to determine the explosion radius of an arrow that is never actually where it depicts itself on the screen. Oh wow, okay, uh, that is a problem. Stay still. Alright, so we're going to put this back. And then the guys that got through there. If you have a big game hunting ballistas, you can put these right here and they'll take this rift out for you. I don't, so I won't. But the reason those in, those guys got through is basically because I hadn't set this up here. And they likely came around the corner from that side. All right, we should be pretty much good. See, before they were coming around this corner, being slowed, and then barely getting hit by anything. Now there are more ballistas. Alright, let's try to get nice multi-kill over here oh man I didn't even have that up if they even make it that far an unstable rift is opening it must be destroyed definitely will be our heroes destroyed the unstable rift. Thank there you. Was much rejoicing. All right, one more got to hit, and we're done. They summoned the boss minion. Most of the enemies that they have on the left here are heavies. Looks like most of them did not die. That was going to die to arrow fire, so we're good. Going to just refresh my mana here. The boss is down. Oh, missed that hit. That could have saved me a bit of time. Oh, there we go. What were you doing? I expected this victory. So, not too bad for Avalanche. Uh, the main thing to remember there is just not to let the unstable rifts get the best of you by paying attention to where they come from. 
traps did a lot of the damage there, but that's mainly because of the nature of the map itself and how spread out it is. The longer it takes for you to get from kill box to kill box, the less likely you are to deal more damage than your traps. But that should be it for that. That's a map that I've run quite a few times so far for the channel, so you guys may be familiar with it already. Either way, um, I'm still on the fence about Midnight's uh, Tripwire. It seems like it's a trap that's primarily meant for really utilitarian purposes or damage spam and endless, but I still need to play around with it just to see uh, exactly what can be triggered and how it behaves because everything that seems to activate traps seems to behave a little bit differently. Either way, I sincerely appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, it definitely is amazing. I love the fact that you guys leave comments and I get to read them and I'll reply to them if anybody has questions. I always enjoy doing that as well. But for now, hope you guys definitely enjoyed this. If you learned something great and until next time, have a good one, folks.